But if I take it, it could give me a big weapon. Fuck it. Okay. What did we get? We got a double crossbow-matic upgrade. But it sucks, so fuck it. <laughs> We're just basically here for the stats. Alright, I'm recycling this. The problem with this is... I really needed it to give me a big damage boost, like, immediately. And it didn't. If it didn't have the 20% negative damage, or the negative, uh, the 20% damage received, then maybe I would have just grabbed it. Because again, I haven't really been getting much out of the Crusher. But, oh well. Okay, I can just teleport. I didn't need to climb all the way down this way. Play safe, play safe, find an enemy, burn him, hit him with the infantry grenade. Oh, this fucker tried to shoot me from the top. Oh, I fucked up. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> when I see a small fucker teleport to me, I just I think it's all over, man. But really isn't that that bad. All right. I guess it's just a normal door. What do we got here? I saw it. Partially considered that maybe. You wouldn't get anything. It was like floating. Everything was speeding up and slowing down at the same time. Wow, so it makes you feel like puking, huh? <laughs> well, do we have an item in here? Oh, look at this. Dodging plants a bomb. But... Eh, mm, nah. We get a brutality stat for my current amulet. So it has to be a really amazing amulet for me to replace it. Because how much damage do I do now? I do 2,700... 18 DPS with the duplex bow. Jesus. Shots pierce all enemies? Oh my god. I didn't realize that. I could, I could definitely fuck up so many things like that. Okay. Missed a key, but we'll find it. I don't know where it is. Is there an enemy over here? I see the, like a little star over to my right and a little path that we might not have been going into. Yeah, okay. Hey, look at that. Okay, so the star does definitely mean that they drop something. In this case, we've seen it drop stats two times once I've actually noticed it, so that works out. Um, what am I missing? What path did I not see? I'm trying to like find an ever so small area. The only thing I can see is maybe the beginning of the area? Because I think we started all the way at the bottom over here. But we can't teleport to it, so I don't know. There's like a tiny little bottom right corner here that's not fully revealed. And that makes me mad suspicious, but at the same time, maybe not so much. You know what? I think I found it. I think it's above us. Here we go. <laughs> so 
still sorely disappointed in my crusher. And I'm gonna keep on iterating that until I see it destroy something. Like, completely and utterly. Uh oh. <laughs> missed my bomb and missed the fire. Jeez. Also, according to my Steam achievements, I actually killed an enemy with an elevator. I don't even remember doing it, but I guess it happened. Ow, shit. Alright, we have an undead elite archer. Or, maybe not undead, but an elite archer down below. I'll deal with him on our way back. There's the key. Or a key. Don't know if it's the key. Clockmaster's key. Or clockmaker's key. I think that gets us out of here. In comparison to this bell tower key. What do we got? We have... Oh my god, damage from projectiles reduced by 75%? And it gives us the brutality, and it gives us tactics, and it does a negative 20% damage received. I, that's just... that's neat. Oh shit, oh my god. <laughs> I looked at my mini-map as I was jumping. That was bad. Okay. I just want to get to a teleporter. I think I could have gone down and been there a little bit faster. But we're leaving the level, so it really doesn't matter. Okay, so I think the key door is right here. And then we gotta fight a boss. Yep. Clock room. Okay. No, I want to throw my 40 cells into. Beforehand, we were building up on one of these, the ice bow. But I could instead build up towards something else, like, say, the heavy crossbow. I'm just thinking of stuff that I could try and get, like, right now. Like, right fucking now. In this moment. Like, Cleaver might be more amazing than the Crusher. Um... What do we need? Stuns enemies, breaks into six bombs, roots an enemy into the ground. Let's try this out. If it has a burn stat, then that'd be important. I think we- oh my god, it does. Okay. I really wanted to give the Crusher a try. But, meh. Let's see how much damage reduction we get from this. Did that really affect my damage output? Yeah, okay. So beforehand, my DPS on the duplex bow was 3,800. Now it's 3,500. I think. Maybe it didn't get affected? Just because the Crusher has 100% damage on its stat, whereas this has 50%. So I'm not fully sure. It doesn't matter. I, I think the root grenade will be better for me. Also, it combines well with my... my grenade stacking. Uh, let's reforge this. Because I really want to get my duplex bow to do extra damage via... The burn thing. There we go. Anything else that I want? Everything is kind of okay at the moment. The firebrand is the only thing that kind of makes me go, hmm, maybe I can get something better, but I don't know exactly what kind of things the firebrand itself can get. So, 
Uh, it might not be worth it to just throw like a whole bunch of rethings into it. I'll try it though. Yeah, you know, we'll keep that. Because we do have, we have three different stats involving toxic clouds. So it might as well do a little bit more damage at the same time. Okay. Boss time. I don't remember how to beat the boss. Because I just, I just kind of winged it last time. And then we're going to just do that again. And we're going to hope we don't die. Oh shit. I remember to have my root grenade. I'm like, oh, you know what? Maybe that would be something amazing. Oh shit! Ugh. I deserve that. Let's finish this! I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. It really doesn't matter. Oh, I took it. It didn't need to happen. I just did it. Oh shit, I'm fucked. No! Oh my god, I'm alive. Just because of everything else. Nope. Damn it all. Son of a bitch. Ugh, that root grenade did not fucking help me nearly as much as I thought it was going to. Fuck. Oh. It sucks losing a 40 minute run like that. It really does. Oof. I got fucked by trying to heal. <laughs> Cause I tried to heal twice, and both fucking times that I tried to- I think I tried to heal three times, but... Two of the times I tried to heal, I got grabbed. And I could've avoided that. I just- I started healing. As the thing started flying at me, I see the attack, and the brain just doesn't fucking register that, hey, this was a bad idea. Until I get grabbed, and I go, oh yeah, you're right, brain. This is a bad idea. Fuck. It sucks going from, like, fighting normal enemies to fighting the bosses, because... Unless you have, like, a really great kit... Bad things can really, really happen. Okay. Uh, the bow was a bad idea. The bow was a bad idea. It sucks that we never got a sword, though. The sword really, like, not finding fucking swords in the map that I wanted to keep really, really fucked this up. So we're moving on. We're, we're gonna try. We're gonna see what ends up happening. I was tempted to just let myself die in this run because I really don't like... Like, both of these are kind of meh. But maybe one of them will combine to be something amazing. So what I needed there in the last... When we fought the clockwork lady... Poor guy, or whatever the fuck. I needed something that could root him a little bit longer, because I threw the root grenade, and then he would free himself, like, a second later. And so I was getting really... I was really all about that. I was really all about, like, hey, fuck yeah, I'll let my... my root grenade lock him into place, and then we'll just deal, like, a fourth of their health. And then he would just fucking just teleport away! Like it didn't matter! So I didn't know what the fuck to do about that. Ugh. What do you got in here? Toxic Cloud, critical hits deal more damage. Meh, 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 meh. Yeah, fuck it. I was trying to speed up because I was like, you know what? I'll try and go to the promenade time game. But, I don't know where the exit is, so... Meh. Ooh, there's a chest down here. Ooh. 
Unless the promenade exit is like right outside this chest room, we're not getting it. Yeah, okay. Ah, I feel bad. Just those those post-death just considerations of what I could have done. But it doesn't matter because, well, what's done is done. I died. I have to start all fucking over. Prisoner scratch some words on the wall. Why? Filling the prisoners the prison with innocence. Because the king is crazy! That's why. Oh, that's weird. I wasn't expecting to run into a second vine thing here. What kind of grenade do we got? Uh, just a normal ice grenade. I was hoping maybe we would have like a stat bonus. Hey, Toxic Sewers. Nope. It's all about promenade. Oh, is the exit gonna be up here? Because if so, I was real close. Here. Are you kidding me? I rolled behind him? And then walked into his back? And I guess his attack can damage just ever so slightly behind him. That fucking sucks. That should, that should not have happened. Oh, fuck off, I don't want to play with these. Just kill me! Just- I don't want to play with these. <laughs> anything else, man. Anything else. Besides the nutcracker freezing combo. It's not absolutely terrible, it's just not enjoyable to me. Okay. What else do we have? It's fine. Big sword kunai. We're doing ninja shit, man. We have to show them our ninja ways. See, this is much more enjoyable. It's just a much more active playstyle that you can deal with, versus... I froze him! I froze him and I hit him with my hammer! Even though this thing has gotten me killed a couple of times because of how long the, the initial wind-up is. Aye. Now, with that said, this is a much riskier build just because of how much... ...waiting around, or not really waiting around, but how much you have to charge in. Ooh, another, another stat bonus. starting build. I fucked up. I saw him doing his arrow, and I held down. I swear to god, I held down to try and dodge it. But I was in the middle of fucking winding up my attack, so it didn't matter.
You guys have got me fucked up with this whole cursed door shit. <laughs> I could have gone my entire life without knowing it. Would have benefited. But oh well. I just have to not get hit. I shouldn't have been hit. I should have fucking annihilated the guy. Hmm. I like the sound of the magnetic grenade freezing enemies. I don't know how many enemies are gonna die to it. So, I don't know how often that will work out, but it'd be cool to see. Ow, fuck off, man. You're in the middle of the magnetic shit. Okay, this was mediocre. Problem, and I already knew the problem, but I was hoping that maybe it wouldn't matter. But our big problem is that you kind of don't get a lot of the benefits until after the enemies die. And because the magnetic grenade isn't what causes the enemy to die, I don't know what to do. Uh, oh, look at that. I could have bought the ice bow. That thing didn't even save me. I still got my ass kicked. Got in the middle of a boss fight. I should have been able to turn it around, but I took too long to realize, wait, I should heal, right? Like literally, like, f boom, the enemy got frozen, heal myself up full health, and then resume the attack on the boss. Well, that's a consideration for later. Alright. One thing that'd be nice to have... I should just... Oh well. <laughs> I should just use the teleporter. But one thing that'd be nice to have is if I go through these levels fast enough, I can kind of double dip, right? Ow. But I can always double dip and have... My, I go around, find stat upgrades, and then also get the time gates. Because then I just get massive amounts of, of stat boosts. But we'll see what we find. What do we got here? Uh, uh, uh. Nothing I bought. Let's go fast. We gotta get to the next area in the next six minutes in order to get the next bonus. I can do that. Just hold right forever. Hey guys. <laughs> you wanna teleport at me? Fine. Enjoy my grenades. What I can't find on the surface is not worth it. Although my build sucks right now, so I don't know. Oh, eh, one of these things. I was just hoping to find a quick, easy item. How? Like this? Oh shit, I'm standing on a spike. <laughs> just ever so slightly to it, on the side of it. You know what could have saved my life in that last battle? A skill. If I had kept my, at least one of my skills, honestly, like, just the shooting one. The shooting ones, they help so much. Because if I'm over here getting my ass kicked, a lot of times I just kind of lock up, and I suck at my damage. I just, I'm not getting the DPS I need, for whatever reason. 
So it kind of, that thing kind of can humble me. It can say, hey, you suck at fighting this boss, but that's okay because your weapon's sitting here doing a lot of damage. And I can go, yeah, that's pretty nice. Let's try out my volley of arrow. Yeah, okay. That was kind of mediocre. I just didn't want a shield. I'm trying to go fast. Stopping to try and parry every enemy does not mean I'm going fast. Got two minutes. Gotta go. Or not two minutes. It's eight minutes. So we got. We have four minutes. But you see, if I get there fast, like we have now done, it can kind of stack a whole bunch, because now I have an extra four minutes to get to the next level, so I can take my time in the ramparts. Or, I could just go through the ramparts normally, and still maybe finish with enough time. Okay, what does this do? Absorbs more damage, generates a force field for three seconds on a su successful parry. That's nice. That allevi alleviates all of the most annoying things. Possibly for it depends on how much the the shield actually can protect you But one thing that all, is also annoying about the shield or the pairing in this game is if you're in the middle of a bunch of enemies And you parry one attack the next person's attack can still fuck you up And so that really sucks Okay, what do I what do I want what do I want what do I want? Infantry bow what might be nice just to get that close range critical hit. Or I can start making my way down into some of these more intense abilities, such as recycling or gold reserves. <sighs> Why does restock have to be 300, man? That's so ridiculous. Okay, what do I want? What do I want? Mutations? I'm kind of fine with what we currently have for mutations. Hmm. You know what I just realized? I think that maybe the Tranquility one is for like when you're shooting an arrow. Maybe? I don't know. It doesn't really give... I'm very confused as to how that one works. Don't be near an enemy! So that way you can do more damage! To the no enemies that are near you. That's an obviously like a skill based thing. Fuck it. Infantry bow. What do I even have right now that I could care for? I don't know, honestly. Combo, fireworks... I don't know what I'm gonna have later. Fuck it, grenade technician thing. Grenades always end up being pretty darn useful. Even if my current grenade sucks. I don't know where the time door is on this level. Is there even a time door on this level? I'm not actually sure. Yeah, fine. Pew. I gotta remember that I have this ice bow. Okay. <laughs> I figured, hey! Pierce his first target? Maybe that means he'll pierce the shield, too. Nope. What the hell? 
There might not be a time gate on the ramparts. Because usually they're like, oh, no, here it is. Usually they're like really immediate. I guess that one just wanted to wait. <laughs> 